everyone looks forward to Christmas, whether it's the food, the gifts, the classic films, or just hanging out with friends and family. But although the fun's great, it can also be the most stressful and financially challenging time of year. According to research commissioned by the shopping comparison site kelku.co.uk, for this Christmas the average household will be spending over £410 on Christmas presents, around £170 on food and drink and about £85 on travel and decorations. So that gives us a grand total of £665 we'll be spending this season. So you can see it makes sense to see if we can find some ways of saving money and making the Christmas budget last just that little bit longer. Planning is key to making sure you have a successful financial Christmas. It gives you much more control and ensures you don't overspend. The most money that we spend at Christmas is on presents, so that's the first place to start. And what you need to do is to set a budget. Don't ask yourself, what do I want to buy for people? Ask yourself, what can I afford to buy? Consider putting a strict price cap on how much you can spend on each person. For example, a £30 limit for each person in a family of five would mean you spent just £150. That's under half the average most families will spend on gifts this year. If you're going for big luxury gifts, save yourself money by having a delayed Christmas and buying them in the January sales rather than before the big day. You don't even have to wait that long to buy them because a lot of online sellers start their sales on Christmas Day or Boxing Day. And you can save up to 30% by buying in the sales, which means that, for example, if you had something that you wanted to buy that was about £180, you could save £54 by buying it in the sale. The internet is a Christmas gold mine. Using an online shopping comparison site like Kelku can save you an average of 15% compared to buying things on the high street. That means you'd save about £61.50 on the average spend. The savings don't end at comparing prices either. If you use a cashback service for your online shopping, you can earn an average of 7% back on the things you buy, and that'll help add to your overall Christmas savings. Shopping isn't just about saving, but about spending smart as well. If you're going to be relying on credit, and I really seriously suggest that you don't if you can help it, but if you are, make sure you've got your wits about you when you do. If you're going to be buying on credit cards, I know it's obvious, but seriously, make sure that you don't spend any more that you know you can easily pay off. Or go for a credit card that gives you 0% on purchases for a few months. The best one around at the moment is the Tesco Club Card credit card. That gives you 12 months at 0% to pay off your bill. The average family in the UK spends around £170 over the Christmas season on food and drink alone, which makes it the second biggest expense. But you don't have to cut back on fun just by cutting costs. The biggest mistake most of us make is actually just buying too much. So before you go shopping, have a look in your fridge and your cupboards to have an audit of what you've got already. Before you go shopping, have a look at sites like mysupermarket.co.uk to find the cheapest in the different supermarkets. If you cut back by just a quarter on your food and drink spending, you should be able to save an average of £40. Travelling home for Christmas can be a really great part of the festive season, but it does cost extra. So the thing to do is to shop around and be flexible about when you go. For example, I had a look on the trainline.com and I found that a single ticket from London to York can cost between £29 and £42. That's a difference of £13. So try and book as far ahead as you can. Be flexible about when you go. Try and go off peak if possible. So with a few shopping tips, you can make sure that your Christmas spending doesn't give you a debt hangover in January. Here are those tips again. If you set yourself a budget for presents, you could save 260 pounds. If you buy the big presents in the January sales, you could save 54 pounds. Shopping online could save you 61 pounds 50. 
and if you use a cashback site then you could get back £28. Cutting your food and drink bill by a quarter will save you £42.50 and if you book in advance from the train you could save £13. So that could give you a grand total of £459 in savings this season. Merry Christmas!